working for you. CBS 6 News at 5.30 starts with a breaking news alert. If you're just joining us, we are continuing to follow this breaking news out of Tappahannock, where a fire has destroyed nearly an entire block of businesses. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Julie Bragg. I'm Candace Burns. That fire forced the shutdown of the Downing Bridge over the Rappahannock River as fire crews worked to control the flames earlier today. Our Cameron Thompson is near the scene. He joins us live. He has an update. He's been talking to people since he's been there. Cameron, what can you tell us at this hour? Well, Candace, uh, as you mentioned, they are kind of now in the mop up stage. I'm going to step aside here and uh, fires now put out. And as you can see, this big excavator starting to pull the rubble of what used to be a decades old building sort of back into the block after it was getting knocked down by the fire hoses earlier. But again, give you an idea of where we are in Tappahannock. If you've ever been here, we are on Prince Street and right next to Water Lane right now. We are just a block off of where Route 17 and 360 meet. And, you know, just a few blocks away from where 360 goes over the river on the Downing Bridge and uh, several crews still out here in the cleanup phase. The call for the fire itself, they say an alarm came in for uh, smoke inside the building where this excavator is currently working, which was a furniture store that was built back in the 1920s. And firefighters arrived and said that they found fire on the second floor but because of all the furniture. They weren't able to get inside, so they called in mutual aid. Several uh, com um, counties responding, including Hanover and Colonial Beach. And uh, they said that several propane tanks were also exploding with about 500 gallons each, adding to the danger of the the firefighters and the chief saying they actually had done drills for this section and they knew that you know if it ever did catch on fire that pretty much the whole block would probably go just because of all the combustibles in that furniture store. He said that they got it under control around two o'clock and that no lives were lost but several firefighters had heat exhaustion talking with a couple that lived in the apartment complexes that were also destroyed in the back. They say that their cat was killed in the fire. Now the biggest issue that firefighters said they were dealing with was water supply and they actually had tubes or the hoses running up water still laid down here from the river to help with that water supply. And we also talked with one couple that was among the first people here even before firefighters and they say that they went door to door trying to get people out of those apartment complexes to make sure nobody was caught up in the flames. We knew that there was people inside and there was homes over there. So we had stopped and he, I was calling 911 and he was going up the stairs to see if anybody was in their home. And um, we were downstairs getting people out of the houses, breaking the windows and you know trying to get people out. And again, back out here live, firefighters say they expect to be out here for several more hours. There are insurance and state fire investigators who will be looking into what started this fire before spreading. And as well, the community already starting to rally around and help those impacted recover as the Tappahannock Main Street Association is out here passing out water and drink to those who are fighting the fire. And they've already started a GoFundMe to financially help those that have been hurt. Working for you in Tappahannock, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.